He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, he's, yeah, Shadow's a good boy, too. Oh, such good puppies. Yeah, we don't want to eat yucky kibble anymore, do we? So I've been feeding my dogs Taste of the Wild bison and venison for years. It's just dumb kibble. I've done the research on its ratings, and it does get very good ratings. This week, I saw a guy who was getting whole food, dog foods, and he ran out and decided to make his own. They gave him the recipe because their shipment was late. So I went ahead and made all the ingredients myself as well, and I'm about to mix it together, but I wanted to show you because even though I get a really good deal at Petco from their membership thing and I only end up spending about maybe $40 to $50 per bag with the discount, still I'm spending like, I don't know, $200 a month on dog food for these three big dogs I have. Here's two of them. And there's the other one. Hi, buddy. Uh, so I actually was gonna get frozen vegetables, but they didn't have any at Sam's Club like I wanted. So I got some carrots that was, I don't know, for like a five pound bag of carrots, it was only $2. So that made a lot of sense. And then these green bean things. Well, first I boiled the carrots in it. I mean the corn in it. And I took the corn out and cut them off the cob. This stuff is so amazingly good. Then I put these in the water and boiled them. And this is actually two whole deboned chickens. After I took the corn out and then the carrots and the beans out, I put in all these bones and boiled them. Then I cooked the rice. So I put four cups of rice into two quarts of vegetable chicken stock. Once I boil all these bones and make a bone meal, I'll make another four cups of rice and that makes four and a half quarts of rice. And then I can add that to their food. This is actually about a pound and a half of ground turkey. Here's 10 scrambled eggs. And here is one whole chicken from Sam's Club that is like less than $5 for a whole chicken. I took the eggs, baked the shells, and made a calcium powder for them that I'll add to their food. And these are some apple fiber from some juice that we made. I kept the apple fiber and I'll add some of that to their food as well. This is what everything looks like once it's mixed together. And I've got to tell you, my dogs are super excited to eat. Really happy with how this came out. Like I said, I'll add probably a little bit more rice to each of these so they can have a cup and a half per meal or so. So an extra cup of bone broth rice a day to give them a little bit of a fuller feeling in their stomach. It's far more nutritious, so it should keep them satisfied for longer, right? I'm excited for you, sit. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Buddy here used to be really sensitive to any kind of change in his diet. And now he's really, really good with the chicken and rice and you know the veggies. I've been adding all of those. So they'll be good. I'm excited for them. It was actually a lot of hard work. I'll work on simplifying this down. Let me know in the comments if you make your own dog food or if you try this recipe, how it worked out for you and how you make it a little bit easier and more affordable to feed your big doggies like mine. But I make all kinds of different content. If you like this video, like and subscribe and share it even. Yes. I want him to be healthy and happy. Right?